or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naraya Amari and here on Amari Aligned, I create self-care and lifestyle content. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and subscribe now. Today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different being that I just said I create self-care and lifestyle content. Today I'm actually filming a hair tutorial. In one of my other videos, I wore this hairstyle and i think this is gonna become like my signature hairstyle but in another video i wore this hairstyle and somebody commented and they were like oh like we need the hair tutorial so on this channel what you ask for you definitely shall receive so i went ahead and recorded this i was like all right i want to do my hair like that again let me just hop on camera and show how i did it i'm not a hairstylist i'm not a professional i'm not a hair expert none of that i just I think this hairstyle is cute and I can't foresee myself paying somebody $80 to do something that I can do at home. So <laughs> I just went ahead and did my hair on my own. If you're interested in getting this look or seeing how I got this look, go ahead and keep watching the video. Okay, so I'm starting off with clean blow dried hair, but I did put a leave in in my hair, some heat protectant and also grease my scalp. <laughs> you don't have to um, blow dry your hair for this hairstyle. You can do it on your curly hair. Um, I do have natural hair, but I just went ahead and blow dried it because that's what matched the braiding hair the best. Now you see me, I'm just hot combing like the back of my hair. I'm very hairy and my hair goes down pretty far in the back. So I just don't like it to like stay curly. I like to straighten it out a little bit so that it just sleeks up into the ponytail. Now I'm just straightening the pieces that I know that I'm going to leave out and put the little curls in the back. This was really unnecessary, but I did it anyway. Now I'm just twisting those so that they're able to stay out the way when I go ahead and put my hair in a ponytail. So anytime I slick my hair into a ponytail, I section it. So that's just what I'm doing here. I'm putting the back section of my hair into three smaller sections so that I can slick it down. So I'm using Eco Style Gel to slick this down. I'm just adding the gel and then I'm just gonna brush it and clip that part of my hair away and continue to work on the other sections. Same thing, I made the second section of the back section. Now I'm just gonna add gel, brush it down, and then slick it so that it can be put into a ponytail. And this just makes sure that your hair is like sleek and flat all throughout your ponytail. It kind of helps reduce the amount of bumps and you'll see in the end like how flat I'm able to get my ponytail even though I have pretty thick hair. Working in sections definitely helps. The faces that I'm making throughout this video are so ugly, but if you have thick hair like I do, you will completely understand exactly what is going on.
And once I'm done with that, I'm sectioning off, I don't know what to call them. I don't know whether to call them baby hairs, adult hairs, edges, or whatever it is. But before y'all start talking about me, Jack and I, I don't got no edges. I do have edges. They're just so much thinner than the rest of my hair. I'm jacking is because of that perm that my mom gave me in the fifth grade. But nah, um, it's just genetic. They're just thin. They're always going to be thin. I'm just pulling those away so that they're out of the way and I don't get product on them as I'm laying down my ponytail. So same as I did in the back, I'm creating smaller sections within this section of hair. The only difference here is that instead of using the Eco Styler Gel, I'm using Hicks Edge Control. So I'm just going to use that to slick down my hair. And the reason I changed products is because the Eco Style does kind of make my hair curl up. But the Hicks does the opposite and it kind of straightens my hair out. And in the back, I don't really care if it curls up because it's going to be covered. You're not really going to notice it. But these two sections in the front, I definitely want them slick and sleek. So I'm just using the Hicks Edge Control here to kind of hold that. I'm kind of alternating between like my big brush and a smaller little edge brush. The smaller brush just helps you smooth everything out and it's kind of like a detail brush. So I go over it with the big brush first and then I go back in with the small brush just to make sure everything is flat and slick the way that I want it. It's like a continuous combination of like brushing and smoothing, brushing and smoothing, brushing and smoothing. And then when I'm done smoothing out a section, eventually I'm just going to go in with another one of those, what do you call that? A duck bill clip so that I can hold it down while I move on to the next section. Now the top section is the part that you want to pay the most attention to. So you want to really make sure that you're taking your time and slicking everything exactly where you want it because this is a section that's going to stick and it's going to be like most apparent. Then we're going to repeat the process and do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm starting with taking out the hairs that I either want to curl or lay down um, for my edges. So I'm going to separate those first and then I'm going to continue to do the same slicking and smoothing and brushing on the other side. Now that I've got both sides slick, I'm kind of just adding extra product and brushing down wherever I feel is necessary. And I'm going to go in and create my ponytail. The first hair tie that I tried to use broke, so I had to go in and grab a bigger one. And the one that I grabbed is a thicker hair tie made for thick hair. I think it's from the brand Goody. So now that I've got my hair into a ponytail, it's nice and slick and perfect. Perfect. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and tie this down with a scarf so at this point you can put hairspray or something if you want to if you want your style to last longer um, I didn't put hairspray on camera but I ended up putting it off camera just because I want this to last for at least two days I let it sit for like 10 minutes and then 10 minutes later, here is my braiding hair. So this was just Janet braiding hair. It was already um, feathered. You can use like longer hair if you want to. You can use a different color hair if you want to, a different brand. But this is how I do my braid. I just use my real hair as the third strand of hair to begin with. And then I just continue to braid and as I'm braiding, I separate my hair. You can kind of see it right here. I separate some of the braiding hair and add it in with my real hair. That way when my real hair ends, the braiding hair will continue and take over that spot. So you can see I'm adding the braiding hair to my real hair to create that third section now. And I'm just continuing to braid so you kind of got to feel it out and try to make your sections as even as possible that way it doesn't go from being super thick at the top to super thin at the ends and then here i'm just adding product to the ends of my natural hair that way it will tuck under and go along in the braid and i'm just continually like reshaping those sections as I'm braiding just to keep everything even and I'm gripping kind of tightly so that my hair stays in there and then I just kind of swing the braid to the front so I can continue braiding down So once I braided kind of where I wanted it, I put my I put a hair tie around the end of the braid just to secure the bottom. And I did add a flexi rod so I can make like a little curl, but I ended up taking that out because I didn't want the curl anymore. So now that my hair is slicked in a ponytail and my braid is done, we're moving on to these little pieces that we sectioned off. And one of them actually got a little bit stuck into the hair tie, but I just pulled it back out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flat iron all of these pieces, make them nice and straight and silky before I go and style them. I'm just going to put curls in the corners, like these little edge pieces. I got two in the front. I'm going to do the two in the back as well. And I just like to flat iron my edges or my baby hair so that they slick a lot better and they don't curl up. This actually looks ridiculous on camera, but I promise like it's gonna look cute. So even if you don't have like the fullest edges or the longest baby hairs or something like that, you can still make it work. Here, first I'm just adding the Hicks edge control because like I said, that keeps my hair straight and then I'm just, you know, fidgeting with my edges until I get them how I want them. This part of the tutorial is kind of like up to preference and style, however you like to do your baby hairs or however you like to do your hair. At first, I was kind of playing with the idea of doing like two little swoops, but then I think I ended up just doing one. Although two kind of looked cute.
So this was the final look, the final outcome. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.